Hello, ladies and gents of the web. I just turned the rack on in my OBS. I like to change things randomly sometimes in my vids, so let's try something new, whatever it is. I did not enter the shot this time. How do you like it? <laughs> mm, yeah, I kind of like it, but you know what? I forgot my evening coffee. Wait. Uh, so it appears that I entered the shot anyway with my coffee, guys. Mm. That's not the topic for today. Sunnable has just released their new Smart DS. And yes, I actually always, almost always review things from Sunnable because I sincerely believe they are great, great tools and they are the best use of machine learning, AI, you name it, that I know in pro audio world. So yes, we have to give it a go. And as Sunnable's main headquarters are in the city of Graz in Austria, at Heidengasse, yes, Franz Heidengasse, the guys, must know something about good audio music, right? <sighs> That's like a really lame joke. Probably I might cut it out as well. You know what? Let's just review the plugin, okay? Let's go. I am ready. I'm on the producer's Sonable's website. Smart DS, the world's first DS that combines phoneme detection with advanced spectral DS sync. But you know what? It's not only DS sync I can learn that it's sibilance and plosives together, so it's more than a simple DSer. It's got a learn function like all Sunnable tools. And for the purpose of today's demonstration, I recorded some of my own dialogue using this very Sennheiser MKE 600 microphone, which is kind of harsh. And I recorded this in Polish because Polish language is really harsh for sibilance. And I also put a lot of improper plosives into this mic. So I think it's a perfect material to work on. Let's go. This is how it sounds. Dzień dobry, to będzie test zarówno wybuchowych, jak i sybilantów, ponieważ język polski ma to do siebie, że jest bardzo szeleszcząco, dźwięczny i dzwoniąco, piaszczysty. Ale może byśmy tak naprawdę spróbowali trochę głosek wybuchowych, zwartych, typu P i B, sprzedać do tego mikrofonu. Yes, I was speaking about the qualities of Polish language, of course, and I was describing what I'm going to do in this test in short. This is the plugin. Analyze voice. Auto analyze on startup, maybe? Let's go. Dzień dobry. To będzie test zarówno wybuchowych, jak i sybilantów, ponieważ język polski ma to do siebie, że jest bardzo szeleszcząco dźwięczny i dzwoniąco, piaszczysty. Okay, so he adjusted some really radical settings for me. It's working very deeply. I would try to start only with sibilance. I've got sibilance here, plosives here. Here I can tweak the speed, the reaction, the release, the attack. We'll see. Dzień dobry, to będzie test zarówno... Okay, sharp sibilance. Dzień dobry, to będzie test za... Okay, this is deeper. This is deepest. Okay, so I can shape the tone of my sibilance here. And I've got instant visual feedback, which is cool. Dzień dobry, to będzie test zarówno wybuchowych, jak i sybilantów. Ponieważ język polski ma to do siebie, że jest bardzo szeleszcząco dźwięczny i dzwoniąco, piaszczysty, ale może... Okay, so here I can see that release changes, so I'll set release to fast. Dzień dobry, to będzie test zarówno wybuchowych. What's this shaping? Oh, this is like attack phase, this is like release phase. Dzień dobry, to będzie test zarówno wybuchowych, jak i sybilantów ponieważ język polski ma to do siebie, że jest bardzo szeleszcząco, dźwięczny i dzwoniąco, piaszczysty. Ale... Yes, he's taking some of these very deep 
too deep, I would say. And can I split uh, mold full split band? Yes. Let's try to adjust the range for the sibilance like here. Dzień dobry. To będzie test zarówno wybuchowych, jak i sybilantów, ponieważ język polski ma to do siebie, że jest bardzo szeleszcząco dźwięczny i dzwoniąco piaszczysty. This is quite impressive. Okay, it took me a while to adjust it, but I'm there. I learned the tool already. It took me like two minutes and it works very well and probably it's got the best visual feedback I've ever seen in an in a ds tool. Seriously. This is impressive and I like it a lot and it could easily become my favorite DSer. My favorite for now, I'll show you. My favorite for now is the simplest Nuendo DSer. It looks and works a bit like Sonox DSer, but it's way easier and lighter for the CPU, I think. But this thing, I really like it. I could get used to it very, very quickly. Now let's try to do something about the plosives. Bardzo szeleszcząco. The worst moment for the plosives was here. Ale może byśmy tak naprawdę spróbowali trochę głosek wybuchowych zwartych typu P i B sprzedać do tego. Ale może byśmy tak naprawdę spróbowali trochę ale może byśmy tak naprawdę spróbowali trochę głosek wybuchowy. Ale może byśmy tak naprawdę spróbowali trochę. Ale może byśmy tak naprawdę spróbowali trochę głosek wybuchowy. What if I set it like really low under a hundred? Ale może byśmy tak naprawdę spróbowali trochę głosek wybuchowych zwartych typu P i B sprzedać do tego mikrofonu. Ale może byśmy tak naprawdę spróbowali trochę. Okay, he's doing some weird stuff to my voice, but I'm setting it up really radically, so maybe. Ale może byśmy tak naprawdę spróbowali trochę. Ale może. What if I make it even lower? Hundred is the lowest. Or maybe we should, because it's not fully there. I have to tell you, no. What if I learn from here? Ale może byśmy tak naprawdę spróbowali trochę głosek wybuchowych zwartych typu P i B sprzedać do tego. Yes. Ale może byśmy tak naprawdę spróbowali trochę głosek wybuchowych zwartych typu P i B sprzedać do tego mikrofonu. And that's my final result. And you know what? I'll duplicate the tracks. OK. Let's go. Dzień dobry. To będzie test zarówno wybuchowych, jak i sybilantów. Dzień dobry. To będzie test zarówno wybuchowych, jak i sybilantów. Ponieważ język polski ma to do siebie, że jest bardzo szeleszcząco dźwięczny i dzwoniąco. Ponieważ język polski ma to do siebie, że jest bardzo szeleszcząco dźwięczny i dzwoniąco. Piaszczysty, ale może byśmy tak naprawdę spróbowali trochę piaszczysty, ale może byśmy tak naprawdę spróbowali trochę głosek wybuchowych zwartych typu P i B sprzedać do tego mikrofonu. Głosek wybuchowych zwartych typu P i B sprzedać do tego mikrofonu. It took me a while to tweak both the answer and the plosive thing, especially the plosives, were kind of difficult to set up. I found the results to be better when using split band mode. And this actually is a very good tool. And I cannot tell you whether it's going to replace my DSer for now. But for deep plosives, if I have any in what I do, yeah, I will definitely give it a go. Anyway, I'll give it a go also as a DSer, but I need some time. Let's sum the things up. 
Me and Sonable is very much like me and Sherry Audio. Whatever they release, I like it. Anyway, you'll find my latest vid on Sherry Audio here, just to notify you. And as for uh, latest Sonable mixing tool, Smart DS, yes, I like it. It's a really solid, well thought out, very well designed, beautifully executed plugin with a great visual feedback, which is important. I think this is a really engineering precise tool when you need to know the details, the technical details. It's not so much maybe about the feel, what you hear. Of course, it's always about what you hear, but in this case, visual feedback really matters and helps because I can see exactly what the plugin is doing to grab more control over it. And I really do like it. So yes, this one gets my recommendation, guys. And I'm dying to see and hear what's coming next from Sonable because seriously, they are creating my post tools. Like I do a lot of make dialogue mixing and film work, not only music, and they add up things to a palette of tools that really is my tool set for now. So yeah, I like it. I'll keep using it probably. And let me know what you think down below in the comments as always. And I hope to hear you very, very soon. Take care. Bye.